Welcome to lesson number three. In this lesson, we are going to talk about three main topics, founding payment brands and their internal compliance programs, merchant levels, and reporting requirements. So let's get to it. The PCI DSS was created for five founding payment brands, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, and JCB International. Now, in November 2020, was introduced a new member, UnionPay. Now, in this course, we will not be covering UnionPay, but feel free to do some research if you are curious about it. Each payment brand has its own internal compliance program that aligns with its information security policies and procedures. Interesting, right? Well, let's review those programs at a high level. Visa has its cardholder information security program. MasterCard has its site data protection. American Express has its data security operating policy. Discover has its Discover Information Security Compliance and JCB International has its data security program. If you are curious and or maybe you want more information about these compliance programs, you can go directly to each one of the payment brands websites or um, also you can go to the PCI Council website and find a list with the website link and email address for each uh, payment brand. Let me actually show you. So what you are going to do is go to the PCI Security Standards Council website and in frequently asked questions, go and search for article. This is article number 1142. And article 1142 is uh, all of the contact information for the different payment brands. So that's it. You can see Discover, JCB, American Express, and all of the different regions as well. Now let's talk about merchant levels. Each payment brand established its own criteria for merchant levels, as you can see in this table. Merchants levels are defined based on the volume of transactions and is the acquirer of the merchant who determines what the volume of transactions is. One particular note here is that one merchant can be different levels for different payment brands, and that depends on the number of transactions. We'll see this in a few seconds with, with an example. So let's review this more in detail. For Visa, merchants level one, let's see here, six million. So Visa defines merchants level one as those entities, those merchants processing six millions or more transactions per year. MasterCard defines merchants level one as those merchants processing over six million transactions per year. And those transactions have, uh, are MasterCard transactions. Same for Visa and all of the other uh, payment brands. American Express defines merchants level one as merchants processing 2.5 American Express transactions or more per year. Discover defines merchants level one as merchants processing six or more million transactions per year. JCB International defines merchants level one as merchants processing one million or more transactions per year. Now, Merchants Level 2 for Visa. Visa defines Merchants Level 2 as merchants processing between 1 million to 6 million transactions per year. MasterCard defines Merchants Level 2 as merchants processing between 1 million to 6 million transactions per year. American Express defines Merchants Level 2 as merchants processing between 50,000 to 2.5 million transactions per year. Discover defines merchants level two 
as merchants processing between 1 million to 6 million transactions per year. JCB International defines merchants level 2, any merchant processing less than 1 million transactions per year. Merchants level 3. Visa defines merchants level 3, any merchant processing between 20,000 to 1 million transactions per year. MasterCard defines merchants level 3 as those merchants processing between 20,000 to 1 million transactions per year. American Express defines merchants level 3 as merchants processing less than 50,000 transactions per year. Discover defines merchants level 3 as those merchants processing between 20,000 to 1 million transactions per year. JCB International has not merchants level 3 defined. It is either level 1 or 2. That's it. Merchants level 4. Visa defines merchants level 4 as those merchants processing less than 20,000 transactions per year. MasterCard defines merchants level 4 as those merchants processing less than 20,000 uh, transactions per year as well. American Express does not have merchants level 4. Discover defines merchants level 4 as those merchants processing less than 20,000 transactions per year and JCB International does not have merchants level 4. Okay, now let's see how all of this applies in the real life with an example. You own a company, Globomantics Corporation. In this case, Globomantics is the merchant. And let's say Chase Bank is the acquirer for Globomantics. And Chase Bank says, Globomantics Corporation is processing um, the following number of transactions per year. 40,000 Visa transactions per year, 3 million MasterCard transactions per year, 4 million American Express transactions per year, 16,000 transactions per year for Discover, 800,000 JCB International transactions per year. I want you to think and remember um, the previous table with all of the different merchant levels, try to classify which uh, level applies to each one of the different scenarios. So for Visa with 40,000 transactions, I want you to try to complete this table by yourself. I'll give you a few seconds and then we'll do it together. You can stop the video and come back once you're done. Okay, so I'm assuming you did the exercise. You were able to classify all of the different um, merchant levels depending on the volume of transactions. So now let's do it together. For Visa, we have 40,000 transactions per year. And that is merchant level 3. So let's remember level 4 for Visa is less than 20,000. Level 3 is 20,000 to 1 million. In this case, we have 40,000. So between 20 to 1 million, that's merchant level 3. Level 2, 1 to 6. Level 1, 6 or more. Now, MasterCard, 3 million transactions. Think about it. Got it? And that's right, level 2. Remember, for MasterCard, level 1, 6 or more million transactions per year. Level 2, 1 to 6 million transactions per year. In this case, there uh, we have 3 million, so it falls in level 2. Level 3 for MasterCard is 20,000 to 1 million. And level 4, less than 20,000 transactions per year. 
Now let's go with American Express, 4 million transactions per year. And that's level one. For American Express, 4 million transactions per year will be a merchant level one. Remember, for American Express, merchants level one is 2.5 or more million transactions per year. Level two, 50,000 to 2.5 million. Level three, less than 50,000. And there is no level four for American Express. Now, discover 16,000 transactions per year. Think about it. That's merchant level four. Let's review. Level four for discover is less than 20,000 transactions per year. In this case, we have 16,000, which would fall in under le merchant level four. For discover, a uh, merchant's level three, 20,000 to 1 million, level two, 1 million to 6 million, and level one, six or more million transactions per year. And finally, JCB International, we have 800K transactions per year. Which level it is? Think about it. You got it? I'm going to give you a clue here. Remember that there is only two levels for JCB International. It's either one or two. In this case, we have level two for JCB International. And remember, for JCB International, we only have two levels, merchants level one and two. Merchants level one is one million transactions or more. And merchants level two is less than one million transactions per year. All right. Now that you already understand what the different merchant levels are, let's see the reporting requirements for each merchant level. Merchants level one complete a report on compliance, ROC, and they have an annual on-site assessment, normally performed by a QSA company, which deliver the ROC at the end of the assessment. Once the ROC is completed, they need to fill out an attestation of compliance or AOC, and eventually they will provide it to their acquirer. Acquirers, on the other hand, they can request both the AOC in the copy of the ROC. Merchants level two, three, and four, eventually, they normally complete a self-assessment questionnaire, SAC. And I say normally because this is determined by their acquirer. And they also complete an attestation of compliance if they complete a self-assessment questionnaire or SAC. For merchants level one, in addition, in addition to the RAC and AOC, they need to provide proof of quarterly ASB scan reports. ASB stands for approved scanning vendor. And what that is, is basically a report showing that the environment in scope for the assessment was scanned against different types of vulnerabilities. We'll talk more about this in requirement 11 of the DSS. Merchants level two also need to provide proof of quarterly ASB scan reports. All right, you made it. That's the end of this lesson. See you in lesson number four.